the city departments, uh, along with the city manager and, and the mayor, had been meeting uh, the last three days preparing for, you know, severe cold weather that will be impacted the city of Corpus Christi. Uh, we have uh, different departments uh, are working their plans now. Every department has an all-hazard plan. And so we're working with the uh, different agencies. Uh, we're also working with RTA, uh, working with county, uh, working on uh, parks and recreation with the warming centers and the libraries with the warming centers, uh, making sure that the public has a place to go, you know, during the day and then working with the uh, Salvation Army for sheltering in the evening. So a, a lot of meetings have been taking place. Uh, we want to make sure that, uh, one, the, the public is safe and that they have all the information that they need. We take a proactive approach on any type of situation. Uh, it, it's, you know, we want to be proactive instead of reactive. Uh, we want to plan for the worst and hope for the best. And that's been our motto and that's been our message uh, to the public that we're, we plan year round departments of work on their department plans. And uh, so being prepared for an all hazard situation is, a, is a, what we try to do and we do do that. Protect yourself, people, protect pets, pipes, uh, listen to the weather forecasts, uh, go to our uh, city website uh, and uh, we'll have all the information there. So uh, just pay attention to the uh, weather if you don't have to go out in this cold, bitter, don't go out. At this, at this time, the, the predictions are, are very minimal that we would be getting icing. But if we do, uh, we, will, we have a plan. Uh, Public Works has a great department, has a great plan to, to mitigate any type of situation like that. And we just went through the exercise a couple of weeks ago thinking that we were going to get some ice. You know, uh, working closely with AEP, uh, you know, the, the city doesn't operate the electric company. Uh, but so we're in close contact with AEP. Uh, they'll let us know if any there's outages anywhere around. So uh, people that have generators, make sure that you don't have a generator. Uh, uh, you know, make sure it's safe. Uh, don't have anything, you know, inside that you don't want to have inside. And be careful about using any kind of gas generators. You know, you go to the warming centers, you go to our website, city website. All the information uh, on warming centers will be there. There's multiple warming centers, locations, uh, senior centers and libraries with the, with the dates and times that they will be open. You know, they can call the, the call center, the 826 city, uh, if they need information, uh, the city website, uh, our Facebook page, Ready CC, and Twitter page, Ready CC. We're always on there posting information. Um, if you're not registered for reverse alert, uh, the message right behind me, uh, we've already put out uh, reverse alerts for this uh, weather uh, situation. So if you haven't, go to reversealert.org and register yourself as a self-opt-in and you'll be receiving messages from directly from the city.